हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्रोटेस्ट मूवमेंट एंड रिवोल्यूशन लॉट ऑफ पीपल एंड लॉट ऑफ वेरी एनलाइटेड पीपल दे डू दिस मिस्टेक दैट दे कंफ्यूज ए प्रोटेस्ट विद अ मूवमेंट और विद अ रिवोल्यूशन एंड एवरीबॉडी सेज रिवोल्यूशन रिवोल्यूशन सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस द फर्स्ट टर्म दैट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इज ए प्रोटेस्ट इफ यू सी protest is comparatively small in magnitude and its duration is also very less for example a small child can register a protest against his father in other way you can understand very recently farmers have registered their protest against the government policies against the farmers bill farmers law so protest is going to be a kind of opposition or registering your intent your wishes against certain policies or you can say structure or system in a formal manner but its intensity is going to be less its magnitude is going to be less and the time duration is also going to be less but when you talk about movement in case of movement the time duration is going to be comparatively large for example the best example that i can give you is indian independence movement and today you will understand why india's independence from the british rule is not called as a revolution rather it is called as a movement movement is a long process is an ongoing process it may comprise 5 years 10 years 20 years and even 50 years or more but movement is a process where changes are comparatively slow there is no sudden change in terms of the structure or in terms of the alignment or in terms of the overall system in terms of the policies you take the example of indian independence movement 1920 there was non cooperation movement 1930 there was civil disobedience movement 1942 there was quit india movement and finally 1947 india got independence but it was a long process it was a journey and now let us understand what is a revolution a, re a revolution is is an event it's not a process is an event and it is such an event that before it and after it every system every part of the structure is going to be completely different for example we define the first revolution as french revolution which gave the idea of liberty equality and fraternity to challenge the aristocratic system so revolution is not that every event is going to be a revolution revolution is going to be an event where before the event and after the event the whole system is going to be completely different it is very important to understand this difference between a protest movement and revolution so i hope now you all must be comfortable with this difference and anywhere if you find these terms you will be quite comfortable and confident to understand the meaning thank you so much stay subscribed to byju's exam prep for all such interesting important updates for your examination thank you so much